This is a tarot and oracle card reading for Virgo. I'm not making a mess. Okay. Let's find out what you need to know. Let's get into it All right now. This is a general collective reading, not a personal, so you need to use your intuition to know if it's for you. If you want a personal, you can get it on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. The link is down below in the description box. Let's find out what you need to know. We have sexuality. Woo, we're talking about some sexuality here. Okay, um, existing relationships could find a new passion and heightened sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong, but if single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will also bring great joy. So if you don't wanna get pregnant, you guys better use protection because you're gonna be going into a time period that's very sexual if you're in an existing relationship. Um, things could get, be sparked up. You guys could find, um, I don't know, things are just gonna be heating up in the bedroom. I don't know if you guys are gonna be just trying new things or if this is like, <laughs> The universe, uh, the, the planetary alignments making you guys uh, a little horny here, but things are going to be heating up in the bedroom if you're in a relationship. Um, and if you're in a relationship, you might even be, somebody might propose to you. Just have a really good family life. Now, if you're single though, um, they want you to be aware of temptation that could lead to trouble because you might get pregnant here or something else, but it does say a child will bring great joy. <laughs> So if you're having a child, it's going to bring you great joy, but take what you will from that card. Take what resonates. Actually, I'm not going to use that deck. So let's just get into it and let's find out. We're talking about relationships. We're talking about love. That's what this is about. We're talking about sexuality. So let's use this deck to find out more. What do we need to know about the situation spirits? If you're in a relationship, things are going to get hot between you and your partner, but also a good family life, uh, commitment may be coming up. If you're single, you might have somebody who wants you sexually that's going to tempt you, and it says be careful, so maybe that means you shouldn't take the bait. Maybe you should fight the temptation. Ah, uh, yes, see, look at that ace of wands. Mm, that is somebody coming in with a sexual offer, passionate, fiery. Now, the keywords here say sparks. Friends first, brief affair. I don't know why they put friends first. That's not usually what I think about with the Ace of Wands, but this person might even come in wanting to have an affair with you if they're with somebody already. Um, or, you know, they might, with the friends, they might want friends with benefits. So if you're single, that's probably why you need to be careful because they're going to come in with this passionate, fiery energy for you. And my God, woo! <laughs> um, look at that fire. Ace of Wands. In my other deck, you know, a lot of times people see the, the wand as a phallic symbol, you know. So we're talking a very, very sexual energy here. So if you're in a relationship, that's all good. You guys can have some fun. But if you're single, you need to be wary of the temptation that's coming in. This person might want an affair. Look out for red flags. Noticing the romantic on the bottom. We'll see if that comes out. Okay. So they're going to come in with this if you're single. This is where it becomes a problem, right? If you're in a relationship, you're all good. Don't worry about the rest of this reading, right? <laughs> or at least this part. But if you're single, this is going to be temptation. And you might feel like you have a decision to make because they're going to want friends with benefits or an affair or something because they're feeling very passionate about you. But they might not be making a commitment. They might not be showing their emotions. So this is going to cause a conflict. You're going to feel like you have a decision to make. It may make you feel defensive. This might even cause you some heartache here. I don't usually think about that with two of swords, but that's the key word here. So that might, might be why you need to um, stand your ground with this person, set boundaries. Ultimately, ultimately we do have 10 of pentacles coming out here. So this is actually a lot of stability. I think, a, you know, I don't know if it's with this person, probably is with this person. Who is this 10 of pentacles with? Is it by themselves or with this person? Because Ten of Pentacles is security. It can even be wealth. It says the key words on this card are family, long-term, and prosperity. Seven of Pentacles, growing together, slow burn, waiting. So this won't happen right away. 
This won't happen right away. It's gonna take some time. You're gonna be planting some seeds with this person. It's gonna take time for these seeds to grow. That's why it's this slow burn. You're gonna be waiting for this, but eventually you're gonna get, you could probably have 10 of pentacles. I guess it's with this person. I guess they're not, you know, one minute talking about sexuality and passion and fire and then talking about money or whatever. So I think they're saying that this person's gonna come in hot. If you're single, you're gonna have a decision to make. It's gonna be, it's gonna leave you conflicted because you really want this person, but they're gonna not be offering you anything stable at first. Now, after a long period of time, keep in mind with my bonus extended readings, we get into six months to a year sooner time frame. Right now we're talking, this could be 20 years from now. This could be long-term, this 10 to 10 years. It does say family long-term prosperity, growing together, slow burn waiting. So it's probably gonna be a while before you get this 10 of pentacles with this person. But the 10 of pentacles is security, stability, could even be wealth, money. It doesn't have to be, it could just be them saying, okay, that's gonna be very stable eventually, but it's gonna start off very sexual. And this is gonna leave you feeling conflicted. So with the seven of pentacles, they're definitely telling me you've either been waiting for it for a long time or you will. The ten of wands, this is even something that burdens you. It burdens you. You might feel like, oh, I just want this to be over. But you, that also means you're close to the end of a cycle here. So maybe it won't be that much longer. Maybe the seven of pentacles is just saying it was something you that's taken a while. The Ten of Wands keywords are hard work, stress, weighing heavily. So it's just telling you that, yes, this might have been um, this might have been burdensome. Maybe they already came in sexual with you. Maybe that's energy from the past. But I said what's going to happen, so it's probably future. Um, but the waiting, you've probably already been waiting for a while. And you're probably soon. I know in the beginning I said it might be a while, but now I'm kind of realizing that we have two tens here which are close to the end of a cycle so you it might not be that much longer a little more waiting um but you're you're gonna hear fast communication from them no doubt that uh passion look at the fire look at the fire on these cards that go with that sexuality card they blend so well with that sexuality card so you're definitely going to hear from this person they're going to come in with this ace of wands offer so it is funny thing is it's, it's actually helped by the divine but you need to pay attention to red flags we do have the keyword red flags there communication moving fast red flags so this person is going to come in very quickly you, you will hear from this person very quickly but they're not going to be giving you an offer that you're okay with i don't think it's going to be well unless you're just okay with it being strictly sexual or seeming like it's strictly sexual there might be emotions there but they're not going to be showing them And they're going to be coming in hot. I mean, I'm getting some serious heat here. <laughs> what else, spirits? Anything else? Okay, so what we have right now to, to kind of go over it again is if you're in a relationship, you're good. Your things are going to be heating up. You're going to have a lot of passion, some sexual passion, and, you know, maybe commitment. Things are just going to be good if you're in a relationship. If you're single, somebody's going to be coming in hot. They want you. They have, they're attracted to you. Um, but they might want an affair or friends with benefits. Um, it, they're not going to be offering you something stable at first. You're going to be conflicted. You're going to have a decision to make. You're going to feel like, you know, you're very burdened by this. You might have felt this way for a while. You might already know this person. Maybe they've come in with this energy before and they're coming in again. You've dealt with this situation for a while or you will be. Um, but eventually, eventually you are going to go into a new cycle with this person. And the keywords here are new love, starting over, infatuation. Now it could be for some, it could be that you are conflicted, you had this person come in hot or you will, and you're conflicted and you turn them down. And so that puts you into a new cycle with someone else, that is possible, that turns into something very long term, term and stable, it could be. But I think for most, it's probably this person coming in hot and then you having to make a decision 
and you having to turn them down because it's not quite what you want, it's not what you deserve. And so I think that's gonna propel you into a new cycle with this person where you guys are gonna start over, it's gonna seem like it's a new love, and it's eventually going to lead to long-term prosperity with regard to love and family and that kind of thing. So that's what I'm getting so far. Now we're gonna go into a bonus extended reading where we find out what's gonna happen in the next six months to a year or sooner. Okay, so this is long-term so far. This could be 20 years from now. Probably not, probably soon, but just in case we're gonna go into the bonus extended and find out what's coming in soon. What do you need to do? What do you need to be aware of? Is this person, you know, are they cheating? What are they doing? You know, I don't know. We'll find out what comes out. What does spirit want us to know? What's in your highest good to know? We might get some charms. We might get some advice cards, maybe some law of attraction cards. I've been liking to do those lately just to be able to give you information to help you to bring in this 10 of pentacles, whatever this 10 of pentacles is as quickly as possible, as smoothly as possible. So if you want those details to be privy to that information, go down below, click the link that takes you over to my Patreon. You can sign up over there and it's only $5, sorry, not 50, $5.55 to sign up. And that's not just for this one extended reading. That's actually for exclusive access to all of the readings that I've done up until this point and all of the readings that I do going forward. So it's a lot of extra content. Um, that you get access to, not just this one reading. Um, there are a lot of other readers that charge, I've even seen up to $8 for one extended reading, and I don't think that's a bad price anyway. That's their price, and that's okay, but I'm just letting you know that with mine, for now, you are getting access to all of my bonus extendeds. I don't know why I said for now, because I don't plan on changing it, but <laughs> anytime soon anyway. Um, but yeah, so um, if you want a personal reading, you can get it on my website, www.bossasswitch1111.com. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified when I go live. Definitely comment down below to let me know if you feel this passion starting to brew. Is this for you? I would love to know. So I'm going to go now to the bonus extended. Meet me over there.